Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation, homebrew news, and much, much more. So all the time, I need to download a specific update for a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 5 title. And if you're wondering, okay, Michael, give me a real-world example of this. Maybe I need to get an update that matches my PlayStation 5's firmware if I'm on a jailbroken firmware. So on my instance, I have one machine that is setting on version 4.03. And my only option here is, is that I could update my system all the way to patch 0.1.600 versus, you know, staying back a couple of older patches. I could at least, you know, do something such as that. Now, the beauty of this tool by John Tornblum is, is that this will allow you to kind of fetch all of those EKG files, and you can do it a number of different ways. You can do it on your PC, you can do it on Linux, heck, you can even do it on the PlayStation 5 itself. Now, if we take a quick look at the project here, what we can see is that it says it fetches a Sony PlayStation 4 or 5 package, updates referenced by a JSON formatted manifest at the given URL. This is a simple curl-based tool for downloading official, keep that in mind, official Sony PlayStation 4 and 5 game updates. And there is an option here if you are behind a firewall where you can download the updates via a proxy server. Now, in order to use this, it is pretty simple. You basically just run the fetch PKG and optionally give it this proxy or a path. And then finally, just a URL. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at doing this on our computer. So the first thing that you will need to do is to go over to releases here. And then you're going to want to download whichever version that you're interested in working with. For me, I'm going to take the Win64 version and then just extract that to a folder somewhere. Now, one thing that we're going to need is, is we are going to need this JSON formatted manifest. Now, the easiest way that you can find these, in my opinion, is using something like Orbis patches for the PlayStation 4, or using Prospero patches for the PlayStation 5. So on the PlayStation 4, I went ahead and I did a search for Elden Ring, and this is the version that I am currently using. And what I want here is, is that I want this patch. And so from here, we'll just go to where it says details here. Here is the raw URL. So I'm just going to take that, and I'm gonna to go to copy link. Now, one quick, Word for those that's doing this for the PlayStation 5, it isn't quite as easy as that, meaning that if you went in here and maybe you found a patch, so you could just come right up here to this CRC file, for example, and then just do a copy link here. Just go ahead and come down here and just change that to JSON, and then you can go ahead and select it. And if we just pop over here to a browser, we can see that. There is the JSON that you will be supplying to this tool. Okay, so again, we are focused on Elden Ring. So I am going to take this JSON file right here and I'm going to select copy link. And then I just went ahead and extracted it in Windows. So just simply come up here and type in CMD. And we're going to take fetch PKG. And now we're just going to paste in that URL for Elden Ring. And now just press return. Okay, so it just finished and you will get to see this as it is working. This is what mine looked like. And what I can see right now is, is that in the folder where I extracted it to, there is the PKG. So now instead of using a tool such as like JDownloader to download these updates and then use another tool to merge them all back into one package, you can simply use John Tornblum's tool. Thanks so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out.